One Stanford scientist now saying it could be feasible for us to live as long as 200 years. And according to that scientist, the first person to live that long may have already been born. And as you might expect, this is if you live a healthy lifestyle. But there's a catch. Healthy might not mean exactly what you'd expect it to. Some scientists say part of living to 200 means, for example, not eating too much kale or broccoli. What? Joining me now for more best-selling nutrition author Jorge Cruz. Thanks so much for being here, Jorge. Uh, pleasure to be here, Natasha. You know, our team was pretty surprised when we saw this. Some scientists saying um, we shouldn't eat too much broccoli, kale, or cabbage. Aren't these supposed to be good for you? What's going on here? You know, it's a funny question because it's counterintuitive to what we hear. And I have a podcast called The Zero Hunger Guy, and this is the number one question people ask because so many people are looking at plant-based nutrition. Shockingly, though, plant-based nutrition, things like kale, broccoli, these things, cabbage included, can be problematic for people primarily because they contain plant defenses that inhibit, get this, the absorption of iodine at the level of the thyroid and the heart in the bodies and hormones. So they really can, you know, they have nutrients we want, but unfortunately they have these plant defense mechanisms because the plants don't want to see them. Fruits are different, but these are all vegetables or, you know, these, this family of cabbage. And unfortunately they can cause these problems with thyroid and heart issues. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So does this mean we're, we need to cut it out of our diet entirely? How much is too much? And are there any other surprising foods we need to be careful not to eat too much yeah. of? You know, another surprising food, this is something that I love. I've had on my show, The Zero Hunger Guy, quite a bit, this Dr. Paul Saladino, he's known as Carnivore MD2, and he's very well known for talking about how animal-based protein has all these incredible nutrients we need. But one of the foods he talks about, which I love as we talked about this in an episode recently, is how beans, of all things, can cause, we, we all know they can cause bloating, but unfortunately, they can also cause things that can cause us an immune response that can and cause issues with digestion. And so beans are not on my list and even grains, you know, and we're told to eat whole grains and all that. And shockingly, a lot of my clients, when they cut that out, they feel much better and they eat more of an animal-based meat pro program. Okay, well, Jorge, here's a question. I mean, yeah. should we even be living until 200 years old? What's your opinion on that? Well, so here's my thing. You know, I recently uh, had a cover issue. It just came out this week in First Roman Magazine where we talked about the water cure. And I'll tell you, when you have a special diet that just is based with hydration and electrolytes, you can live much longer than you think. And more importantly, you turn off hunger. So here's what I would tell people, have a meaningful purpose in your life. That's more important than saying, I'm gonna to live to 200. You know, whether you live to be 100 or 200, what matters is if you're enjoying your life, you know, because living to be 200, and not being happy isn't going to really do the trick. But, you know, having quality over quantity is important. But if you have a meaningful life, you hopefully ingest good quality protein, such as animal-based protein. And then on top of that, you can enjoy electrolytes, uh, adding a simple of half a teaspoon, for example, of sea salt to water up to 32 ounces can turn off hunger and can then allow you to do what is called intermittent fasting, which I'm a big pro promoter of. And intermittent fasting, surprisingly, is the most proven way long term to extend lifespan and most centenarians that live to be over 100 they eat one meal a day it's called omad and that's the key to it all it's less calories less hunger and uh, and that's all in that woman's world or first for woman magazine just out this week all right well jorge salty water and one meal a day that those 200 years i think you'll really feel it <laughs> That's and a ribeye, maybe. There you go. <laughs> Jorge Cruz, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.